Look at the size of him. Wow. afternoon welcome to film grounds i'm andy emmett join me today uh, out on a walk just west of um glen Wern. i am out with burn bramble again we're just on the lead in front of me and today i thought i'd have a battle of the olympuses i've got uh the olympus oem 2n um, with some XP2 Super 400, um, which is an Ilford black and white film, which is developed in C41 chemicals. And I've also got a roll of Ultramax 400, but as you can probably see from the sky behind me, it is bright. Um, but I am out of midday. But there is some quite nice cloud about today. Um, so I'm able to get some good black and white shots of that. I've also got my uh, OMD uh, 1 Mark III out with me as well. So I'll see what we can get with that. But like I said, I'm not expecting anything too dramatic with it. Um, it's a little bit too bright. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's not great for uh, photography today, but I don't mind shooting midday um, on days like today, to be fair. I think sometimes you can get some good mm -hmm. shots. Um, Yes, I have had my hair cut, and yes, the beard is mostly gone. Um, I've got to admit, I uh, drove past a barber yesterday when I was at work, and uh, I came across this um, this barber. There was nobody outside, nobody queuing, and I just walked in, sat straight in the seat, and got my hair cut. That was one of the best feelings I've had in a long time. Um, it just felt so good to get my hair cut. Anyway, hopefully it's a uh, an improvement. But anyway, we shall carry on with this walk. It's about four or five miles today. Not done this one before. Um, just checking it out. Hopefully it's a nice one. It looks nice so far. Some real nice views of there. Uh, I don't know if this thing will pan around. But that that there behind me is Sugarloaf. Um, so hopefully there's some good... This is a good walk and it will be up on the website along with some photos and bits and bits like that. So enjoy the video. I shall see you on the other side. Bit of a steep hill, this one. Going downwards anyway, I'm glad I'm not walking up it. So just had a quick check. This isn't the way we're supposed to go. But it is pretty cool anyway. And we will meet up with a path coming up pretty shortly. But there is some cool little areas sort of hidden away back here. 
Not much fun with a massive backpack on there. world down here. Look how steep it is though. Until the sheep uh, use this path quite regular. Looks like they actually head down there with the looks of things. Uh, we're looking for a path which I think is just down there get onto and start heading across. I need to turn this off for a minute while I uh, make my way down here. The mountain dogs are alright with this. Just trying not to uh, end up at the bottom of that hill a bit quicker than what I need to be. Looks like a big quarry down here. It's if I can hear some water. This area was a, a big, uh, well, it was a quarry here anyway. Not anymore. Long gone. Not entirely sure what it would have been quarrying here. I will find out. So it's pretty cool down here. Let's see what, what we got. Oh, dear, I know you definitely wouldn't have liked this little detour. That, oh, that would be my wife. <laughs> I can see the path down there. This route definitely won't be on the walk guide. <laughs> because it's a little bit steep. Oh, there's a dog. But there is some water down there. Seems dogs can have a uh, bit of a drink, but there is. There is a dog down there. Must so, be an owner there somewhere. Looks a bit steep down there. this rock is it is loose and it rocks and it moves when you stand on it I'm finally out of the wooded area back on the path now had a bit of a detour uh, basically down the side of that <laughs> took the wrong turn but uh, at least I've made that mistake. I'm back on a path now, so I know the route I should have took. Nice anyway, though. I've come across this uh, nice little stream down here. Dogs have uh, got to have a drink. Whew, it's warm today, though. It's nice. Straight up hill now. now. Just come down one. Straight back up the other side. So if you do do this walk, that's the route should have come down up there. Dogs are having a good time on the stream, aren't they? I was planning to go up there and carry on and make this walk a little bit longer, but I think I'll just stick to uh, to the track and head down there.
Okay, so you welcome me from my first um, shot of the day. Well, say first, taking a few on the way up here, but nothing's really been memorable, to be honest. I've just come across this one and uh, thought I'd stop and um, do a video, just show you what I'm what I'm shooting here. So I've got, um, I'm gonna toot with my two uh, Olympuses. I've got my OEM2. Um, this has got uh, the Ilford um, XP2 Super 400 in it, which is a black and white film that you've developed in color c41 chemicals um so i'm going to take a couple of shots with this um i think that this will um the black and white will favor today just because it is so bright um yeah maybe in a few hours time the shot might be a lot better but uh for now um i'm going to take these in black and white what i'm also going to do is shoot with the digital um which is the omd one mark three um, this is obviously going to be in colour. Now there is between 20 and 30 years age difference between these two cameras and obviously a lot has changed in the years that have gone by. So what I'm going to be shooting at here uh, with this is um, I'm going to do some high res shooting with the handheld mode which will give me a 50 megapixel shot. This takes a long time to buffer so what I'm going to do is shoot a shot with this and then go on and shoot a shot with this and I'll give you the um, settings that I was on um, in between. Um, I'm also gonna shoot a couple of bracketed um, sh exposure shots with this and I'll probably do a couple of bracketed with this just because um, there is, it's quite bright today. Um, so I wanna make sure that I, I've got all the range um, in later in Lightroom. I can blend the three scan shots together um, to get a better exposure. So that's the plan. Right, I'm gonna start with this um on the high res mode because like i say it does take roughly about 10 15 seconds to actually put the shots together because it takes a number of shots um, and then it blends them together in camera to give you one 50 megapixel shot and what happens is the sensor inside uses the image stabilization to move it ever so slightly um, i think this one does 16 times it moves it 16 times takes 16 shots and then blends them all together to give you that that um that high resolution shot. So here we go. First one. I am on f, f 6.3. It is 800 for a second um, to be exposed correctly. And there goes the buffering. So I'm going to put that down and I'm going to shoot with this. Now with this, I'm on f 5.6, which is the uh, best aperture for sharpness on this lens. It's the 50 mil lens, um, Olympus lens. And I'm on a thousandth of a second and I'm having to add about two stops onto that to get the exposure in the middle. I'll go back to the digital. I'm going to take another shot with F6.3, 800 for a second high res shot. The reason why I leave the um, camera to my eye for so long is because what happens is inside the camera, you get the view, it will get the, um, the icon to show you're on high res mode will go green, which means it's doing its thing, in, it's doing the magic in the camera. And then what happens is it will then go on to, it will go black and then you'll get a, a busy icon and then a bar that will go along, which will show you how far along it is in blending all the shots together. Um, so what I do is I don't move the camera at all until I see that the screen go black and the busy sign come up. 
So I'm just going to go underexposed by one. Just to make sure that I can get that um, sky back. And I'm going to take another one of this. Well, what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to take three um, of different exposures. So that's one. We'll go one over. And I'm going to go one under. And I'll blend them together later. Okay, that's enough on that. So what I'm going to do now is um, do some bracketed exposures with this. So I've got my um, AEL button on the back set to um, press that and basically um, it changes the mode to uh, exposure bracketing. I'm going with three shots. Now there isn't any buffering on this at all. And that's it. And I will do one more high res. And that's it. And we shall move on now, back round, actually heading round the, uh, the side of the mountain there, and then back round to the car. Um, I was hoping to do a bit of a longer walk today, but uh, my other half has stuff for us to do. So uh, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to cut this walk short and um, I'm definitely gonna come out and do a longer walk here. This walk will definitely be on the website. Um, it's been a really nice walk so far. Um, some beautiful scenery, so I'm definitely going to put this on the website and I will definitely be back here to find some more longer walks. This one's about uh, 3.6 miles. Um, I was hoping to do a further one, which would have probably added another mile, mile and a half onto that. And I will find a longer one for you guys that like to do longer walks, um, of sort of up to probably up to 10 miles. Um, I definitely saw on the map that there was a lot of, uh, a lot of areas that you can go off in different directions and walk. Um, so I will check them out and um yeah hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you um hit that um like and subscribe button and hit the bell icon also just there uh, because i've always got videos coming out in fact i've got another three in the uh that are being worked on at the moment so um yeah i'm looking to get them out fairly quickly and uh yeah i shall see you in the next one <laughs>